Sidelisa Peva. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. My dear brothers and sisters, let us call to our mind and ask God's pardon for the sins that we have committed as we are going to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, increase our faith, hope, and charity, and make us love what you command, so that we may merit what you promise. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. After Nineveh was spared, Jonah was displeased and he became angry. He prayed to the Lord and said, O Lord, is not this what I said while I was still in my own country? That is why I fled to Tarshish at the beginning. For I knew that you are a gracious God and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love and ready to relent from punishing. And now, O oh Lord, please take my life from me, for it is better for me to die than to live. And the Lord said, Is it right for you to be angry? Then Jonah went out of the city and sat down east of the city and made a booth for himself there. He sat under it in the shade, waiting to see what would become of the city. The Lord God appointed a bush and made it come up over Jonah to give shade over his head to save him from his discomfort. So Jonah was very happy about the bush. But when dawn came up the next day, God appointed a worm that attacked the bush so that it withered. When the sun rose, God prepared a sultry east wind and the sun beat down on the head of Jonah so that he was faint and asked that he might die. He said, it is better for me to die than to live. But God said to Jonah, is it right for you to be angry about the bush? And Jonah said, yes, angry enough to die. Then the Lord said, you are concerned about the bush for which you did not labor and which you did not grow. It came into being in a night and perished in a night. And should I not be concerned about Nineveh, that great city, in which there are more than 120,000 persons who do not know their right hand from their left, and also many animals? The word of the Lord. Lord, you are tender and full of love. You are my God, be gracious to me, O Lord, for to you do I cry all day long. Gladden the soul of your servant, for to you, O Lord, I lift up my soul. For you, O Lord, are good and forgiving, abounding in steadfast love to all who call on you. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer. Listen to my cry of supplication. All the nations you have made shall come and bow down before you, O Lord, and shall glorify your name. For you are great and do wondrous things, 
You alone are God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus was praying in a certain place. And after he had finished, one of his disciples said to him, Lord, teach us to pray as John taught his disciples. Jesus said to them, when you pray, say, Father, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. For we ourselves forgive everyone indebted to us. And do not bring us to the time of trial. The Gospel of the Lord. What do you include when you pray in your prayers? The most significant things. We need to learn from our Lord himself. This is what we should do when we pray. First, we need to pray, praise and thank God. Why do we praise and thank God? So all the blessings we have received from his hands. If you reflect on your life, our life, itself is more than enough to see the beauty of his creation, you know, and our parents, siblings, brothers, sisters, and so many things. We have received blessings after blessings. So we need to first praise and thank God. Second, we need to pray to the Lord uh, for his kingdom, for coming of his kingdom. We are waiting for the second coming of the Lord. And make sure you will be in that kingdom one day, not out of that kingdom somewhere else. So, if we want to inherit that kingdom, we have to uh, experience or anticipate kingdom values now itself, within our lives, in our families, at our working places, and in our communities. Kingdom values. Then afterwards, we need to place before our Heavenly Father very humbly our intentions, our daily needs. It does not mean whatever you ask, you will receive. No. Maybe. We never know right away. After some days, after some months, even years or decades. At the same time, our Lord invites us to persist in our prayers. We need to continue our prayers, never give up. Don't be discouraged and disappointed. So sometimes we are selfish because our God, our Heavenly Father, He knows not what we need, no essentials, but what is indispensable to save your soul. He doesn't give each and everything you ask. So afterwards, we need to ask forgiveness for the sins we commit because we are human beings. We offend others and we offend God when we sin against others. And we need to remember at the same time in the prayer Jesus includes Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. What does it mean? So when I pray, ask Father Silva, Lord, forgive me. Why? Because I have already forgiven your children who sin against me. Suppose if I have not forgiven, still I have uh, hurt feelings and bad attitudes towards them, and I 
curse on them or any evil thoughts because they have hurt me, they are sinning against me. So can we, can I say this prayer? Yes, still I can say, but I have to skip that part of the prayer. So we need to forgive others. Jesus purposely uh, adds this, no? Because this is more, uh, very important for our holiness. So lastly, we need to pray to defeat our temptations. Again, we need to remember that we are fragile human beings. But our good Lord never gives any temptation, any suffering or anything that we cannot defeat. We can not with the, our own power or strength as long as we depend on him. Again, never give up, be discouraged or disappointed. Oh, I sinned last week and I am going to say the same thing. Oh, I have been continuing this. No, bring everything to the Lord. We don't make confession once for life. No, until our last breath. We are struggling. Only thing, you need to be genuine to your struggle. So, in this way, let us, when we pray, try to be aware of ourselves and uh, include these things in our prayer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Amen. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in his divinity. Who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Lord, we'll share my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look, we pray, O Lord, on the offerings we make to your majesty, that whatever is done by us in your service may be dedicated may be directed above all to your glory, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Amen. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. In him you have been pleased to renew all things, giving us all a share in his fullness. For though he was in the form of God, he emptied himself, and by the blood of his cross brought peace to all creation. Therefore, he has been exalted above all things, and to all who obey him has become the source of eternal salvation. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy,
you are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Make us grow in love together with Francis our Pope and Thomas our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. By the mingling of this body and blood of Christ, bring eternal life to us who receive this. Lamb of God,
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. May the body and blood of Christ bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
let us pray. May your sacraments, O Lord, we pray, perfect in us what lies within them, that what we now celebrate in science, we may one day possess in truth, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.